Hi, I'm Paul Etworth and I create music. Phenomenal. So first, congratulations you. on your Grammy nomination. Tell us uh, what you were nominated for this year. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to be nominated for Producer of the Year, Album of the Year, Song of the Year and Record of the Year. That is yes. quite an accomplishment yeah, here. I can't believe it. Now, did you have a sense when you were in the studio with Adele that uh, this was going to be something special? It was different. Um, and I guess that, well, I guess we, the one thing we were thinking about was writing a great song with an interesting arrangement rather than anything else. And I think actually the, uh, I mean, I'm sure you've heard the story that it was, uh, it was actually, the, 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 final, the finished version was actually basically a demo. <laughs> That we we sort of we polished it up a little bit, but hard, you know, not really. Uh, we didn't really do much to it. Um, but yeah, we had a we de you know definitely had a sense it was going to uh, touch people's hearts. You know, I mean, it touched it touched me when she said she went. I've got this idea. There's a and I was you know. The rest, I guess the rest is history. I kind of quickly grabbed the guitar and, uh, and tried to put some chords under it. And, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes later we had the basics of the track. Do you know what the, the references were for it? Were, were, her vocal to me sounded like an old field holler and uh, the, uh, the, 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 the feel of the track, we wanted to do something that was somewhere between White Stripes, Seven Nation Army and Sea Line Woman by Nina Simone. Um, and if you're talking about the choruses, I wanted it, I wanted to, I wanted the, I wanted the, uh, the, the pre-chorus to sound like Brooklyn Zoo by Old Dirty Bastard. <laughs> you know, like, that, that's how, that's how crazy we were in, in putting together all these different elements. You got of, uh, you take, you pick and choose things from your record collection to refer to in making, uh, in, in making the music you want to make that you like, you know? And, um, there's nothing, we never intended to make anything vintage and soul about it. We wanted to do something that was raw, and timeless, and I guess that that was the. Uh, there was never any intention to try and make it sound like an old, an old record. And, and if anything, I think uh, the one thing I was conscious of was all the tracks that I did with Adele. I know that I felt that it felt that they definitely came from South and the Mason Dixie line. You know, like uh, it was definitely, uh, definitely not a Motown thing. It was much more to do with uh, the lineage of Southern music and Memphis and Stax, and you know, and that was. Um, that was something I felt would set it apart from all of its peers, you know, because definitely in terms of the, record, the soul records that are coming out of the UK. Stylistically, was was this pulls apart from a lot of the stuff that you produced and co-written in the past? Yeah, um, yeah but I'm partly because it was the first thing I've ever had the opportunity to write, to sit down to write a song for writing a song, say, not because we were trying to produce it. Songs don't date, but production techniques do, and so I guess that some of what, what made it work was the fact that it was, it was recorded in a way that... You know, it literally could have been recorded as a live, you know, live with backing singers in, uh, you know, probably in the 40s or 50s. But, um, you know, but I guess, you know, the one thing we did do is manage to make it have a bottom end that would work on radio. Tell me a little bit about what ASCAP has meant to you in your career. Um, ASCAP have been, um, been amazing in helping me, uh, helping invest in me as a writer to be part of an organisation that, uh, that represents the needs of songwriters throughout the world. Know, with, the, with the peers who are part of this organisation means a lot to me.